Колеги, всім доброго ранку. Наш перший на сьогодні брифінг буде присвячений темі податкової реформи. Називається тема Thank you. Happy to happy to see you here. Yesterday, probably you heard uh, the presentation of the Prime Minister at the meeting of the uh, Prime Minister uh, in the Cabinet of Ministers. I wouldn't like to in, uh, repeat what he told. There is no need in that, but I will describe the context and uh, I will make. Um, I will make some emphasis as to tax uh, reform. The context is it's impossible to reform the economy if we don't reform the taxation system. And uh, our system taxation is very imperfect. And uh, in three different ministries, finances, fiscal, uh, Ministry of Economy, there were working groups that we're working on that. Our group was working for two months. Uh, we intensively involved expert society and uh, NGOs. And it turned all these three groups uh, brought, uh, got together with their ideas. And as a result, the result you heard yesterday, and the main emphasis uh, let me give you some philosophy. Let me explain something. Just um, after the, uh, the Prime Minister, I will say, I'll pick it up from him. We compete for business, for investments, and also for, for people, for brains. Because in the 21st century, they can, uh, they're quite mobile. A special business is mobile, and it can register anywhere uh, where it's more convenient, where it's better. And uh, we cannot imagine like 100% of taxes, uh, probably, because France was uh, trying to do that and uh, to collect six, uh, taxes uh, up to 90%. And then when they saw uh, what it leads to, they refused that idea. Yesterday, the prime minister gave uh, some numbers, and uh, which were mentioned uh, during our meetings uh, quite often. The, the average level of taxation that is 36%. Uh, and that is uh, income tax. Ta tax on physical entities and uh, plus social tax. And that is a 55%. It's not competitive. So in, it should be uh, small or it should be smaller than in average in, in Europe. Because in average in Europe, uh, the level of life is, uh, you know, that you can, every country is uh, fighting for investments and uh, they're trying to bring uh, investments, but it's not that critical as uh, for us. And uh, to involve investments, we should uh, offer better conditions. As minimum, we should uh, put it down to the, the average level in Europe. That is, um, yesterday there was, uh, that was the first idea that through serious uh, reduction of social, uh, social tax after the first minimal salary. The second is a simplification of taxation system, so the, the uh, redu reduction of the number of taxes. And it's very important to harmonize uh, financial accounting and uh, taxation. Uh, and there is no need to do that. You can de declare income by financial, according to uh, financial standards of financial accounting with uh, three uh, references. There are three uh, on amortization and level of res uh, reserves. Because uh, there is a fluctuation of international financial uh, standards. Uh, all the rest uh, are those uh, financial standards and, and every uh, professional the bookkeeper understands them. And uh, there is no need uh, to, uh, to look into taxation uh, account. And you can uh, calculate uh, uh, income according to those systems one, uh, one time, and not two times. And that simplifies the system, too. What will happen to that? Now we brought it to the discussion, to a discussion, and uh, probably today there will be 
a lot of uh, my colleagues, a lot of ministers, deputy ministers, uh, they do the similar. They explain it and they uh, communicate. I will have a briefing at, at 12 o'clock. That's why I will have to leave in 15 uh, minutes, and uh, there will be um, a meeting with uh, the regions, uh, sectoral meeting. So there will be a protest discussion, and it is uh, quite limited in time because uh, for the autumn in the parliament, which will begin uh, on the 2nd uh, of September, one more uh, the next session, and we will like to put already proposal says that to amend it to the text session, text uh, code, and we'll ask the parliament to pass it as, as soon as possible for to calculate uh, the budget for uh, 2015 uh, based on new principles. And uh, so this is very briefly because we have a limited uh, limited time. I would like uh, to uh, keep the time for um, the questions. I have two questions. What is the what will happen uh, to the simplified system and the uh, special system of taxation? It's clear with uh, simplified. Uh, it has uh, six uh, groups and uh, special uh, that is uh, for agriculture and uh, special uh, taxation for insurance uh, companies. And uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, turnover is uh, taxed. Let's start one by one because I'll not remember uh, the first day and third day has not uh, were not discussed, so there will be no changes. Uh, one tax uh, for enterprise uh, business uh, enterprise uh, has was not uh, discussed. There will be no change, and uh, insurance companies uh, were not discussed. We didn't go into uh, deep into uh, sectors and uh, industries uh, that we did that uh, two, two weeks ago when we discussed uh, discussed uh, rent, uh, nafta gas, etc. This uh, time we spoke uh, general about economy. We didn't uh, get into insurance and into some other sectors. No, we touched the agriculture. That's why the, it has uh, one. Ta tax uh, agriculture tax and uh, it will be connected uh, to one mm -hmm. the only tax it will be one of the, of the variants and a tax uh, on income of physical uh, entities income tax of physical entities what will be there what what will happen to calculations because um, you uh, there is a, a very pro big uh, 25 uh, progressive tax it's high for Ukraine, but if, if in the world uh, it's not very high. What will happen to that? Because you see that people pay, pay for education, for treatment, uh, medical, uh, for health care. That should include, it should be included, suggest. We open the full proposals and uh, there is information portal of state uh, fix, uh, f uh, fiscal service and uh, the collector ideas. Uh, these ideas, I agree with you. Yesterday, Arseniy Yatsenyuk told that a rich will pay more than a poor. Who will be considered rich and uh, how much uh, they sh how much richer they should be? He had uh, on the portal, as far as I remember, uh, the fork is uh, from one mil minimal uh, to ten, and then ten, uh, eighteen, and eighteen forty. That is a that is an issue for discussion. So that's why I don't keep that into my memory because uh, we have to make uh, calculations. We should make it as clear, and we have to discuss it because this is a good uh, a good question. Who is rich? Who is considered to be uh, rich? And if you look at this scale, if to answer uh, precisely, the one who has more than 40 minimal salaries and uh, he. We don't have a, uh, a, a definition in the code uh, who is rich, who is poor, but uh, that could be 15, uh, 25 percent, uh, but uh, 15, 17, 20. So the issue is uh, to how progressive that scale will be. Um, there is a consensus that it should not go too far, too far over the uh, too far uh, over uh, 25 percent, and people who receive more than foot. 40 uh, uh, more, uh, make uh, more than 40 uh, minimal salaries, and they belong to that uh, category. Independ Could you clarify what is the policy of the government as to take in from Kiev budget? And uh, that is um, income tax that is very high, and uh, and uh, Kiev is trying to, to find against that. What the government will do to that? One of 
this uh, part of this uh, reform is uh, decentralization and uh, decentralization of the budget system, taxation system, and uh, we discussed that. Uh, we look at different uh, solutions how to to fill local budgets uh, budgets with resources for them to, uh, to uh, perform those functions they have and uh, for which they are responsible. And uh, this. Uh, it's one of the taxes uh, should we should uh, stay on the local level, I believe. Uh, we should, if there are rules, so it should not be taken out. That's our position. I know that the Ministry of Economy is not taking anything. Who does? We have to ask. Uh, we have we have to ask them. It's better to. Uh, it's better if you invite them here. They will minister, minister of finances, and he'll give you a precise answer uh, for your question. What about uh, the budget of the pension fund? Uh, since um, the social tax uh, will be reduced, uh, a compensator which we discussed yesterday and. Uh, a uh, progressive uh, scale, and uh, that should be a subject for a discussion because uh, there are some uh, some issues. For example, on even on the level of legislation, uh, there is uh, divided uh, tax and uh, not divided. Uh, there should be uh, creative decisions, and we expect uh, to have that uh, to receive uh, to find ideas to get ideas uh, from the discussion with the society. We all use. Two questions. First is technical. Uh, maybe I have not been too attentive when uh, viewing the presentation. I didn't understand what's going on to happen with VAT. The rates, the rates remain the same. And a broader question: Who will be the beneficiary? The beneficiary of this reform? The Ukrainian society. First of all, the economy. This is a package of economic growth. This is the lowering of uh, taxes for those who work, for those who work in the economy. Uh, I wouldn't even single out whether this is a small or medium-sized business or big business. I don't see any direct beneficiaries, and we were not thinking in those terms. We were thinking about simplifying and making lighter a tax load for business in general. The, the distribution is an essential question between the center and the regions. Is the center intent on uh, leaving for themselves a bit more? However, they uh, also suggest that some increment will be there in the localities at the expense of the uh, profit tax. But this is an in equivalent exchange because real money is being exchanged for 15 percent from nothing. It's not a secret that some quite a lot of enterprises in uh, the regions are make no profit and many of them make loss. How does this correlate with the declared strategy for decentralization? I'm uh, very grateful to you that you're following this and I emphasize once again that the slogans on decentralization should be filled with the essence and money. You know, there's an English saying. And that's why you are following this. And all this is just being suggested as a topic for public discussion. The public will obviously be interested in uh, decentralization, including budgetary decentralization. In addition to the taxes that you mentioned, there was a huge discussion at the Cabinet of Ministers yesterday about ecology environmental tax about its distribution, and it is leaning towards the ridges. The discussion is still on. We are, have not arrived at a decision yet, but we are talking about filling the local budgets with real resource. I have two questions as well. I'll try to 
the lowering or weakening of uh, pressure on business will have to lead to a positive result with uh, some lag in time. There should be some compensators that would allow to fulfill social obligations. Do you have a clear-cut understanding of these compensators, or are you ready to tell the citizens, dear citizens, we are not uh, in the state to fulfill all the previous obligations. First of all, the power has already said about this in March, and we have also repeated this in July, that we do not have enough resources to fulfill all the obligations that we have. That's why the obligations should be changed. For instance, in July, we said that we lack resources for the financing of controlling bodies in Ukraine. That's why their financing has been decreased by 70 percent, and it is banned to, to do any inspections until the end of the year. And now the specific reform that was suggested by the prime minister, when it is uh, does not affect the revenue, and this is without the shadowing effect. We in the Cabinet of Ministers, the Fiscal Service and the Ministry of Social Policy have calculated very avidly and the general influence of the tax reform does not influence the general aggregate sum of the budget. We cannot uh, foresee the effect from the de shadowing. We don't see the size of it, we know a, the ceiling, we know that almost half of the economy is in the shadow. On the other hand, we know that not all of this scope is going to come out of the shadow. Even in uh, the most developed countries, 10 to 15 percent of economy is in shadow, so it is hard to forecast. The main thing is not to be mistaken in some social, very delicate issues. We're trying to calculate everything that the effect of uh, the impact for the income for the revenue does not change. This is very conservative and pessimistic approach. Everything is done to lessen the pressure on business, to lower salaries in uh, envelopes, uh, with all the effects that proceed from this. And by the way, I think that, uh, you know, the uh, concern that you have that 25 percent of tax is a bit too high, I think that uh, we can later, when the shadowing is successful, come back to previous rates from 25 percent. Any changes suggest some result in time. When do you expect first specific results of this reform after it is uh, adopted by the parliament? Let's try to express this in time. Next uh, month is discussion, including parliamentary discussion, maybe uh, along accelerated scheme lines. We hope that in September we will be able to pass the laws in the parliament, which will become active from the 1st of January, but in general such actions start to bring effect minimum within half a year. <coughs> so you know, pregnancy lasts for nine months, and uh, it doesn't matter how many people took part in this, and some things in economy last for as much time as they need. And the, the tree grows at a similar rate, irrespective of how it is watered. Are there any aspects of this package of economic growth that can be realized without the parliament? Or everything is uh, to go through the parliament. Well, without the parliament, practically, we cannot do anything because this is a tax code, which is the law. And this is the thing, <coughs> uh, for instance, what can we do? And I will finish with this. 
here we are next to the place where if we measure the trust in the Ukrainian society next to Maidan, the trust is probably at the highest level. People trust each other. People transfer money from uh, card to card to support the army, to support the reform, trust in each other that this money will be used in the right way. And this trust should be transferred to relations. And we were talking about this in our group, to the partnership between fiscal bodies and citizens, fiscal bodies and businesses. Uh, because there's a mistrust there, and it's bilateral. But I don't blame business. I blame the state in this case, because the presumption of innocence does not uh, act here. We want them to prove that they have used the, all, uh, used the money in the correct way. This can be done without the parliament, this change. But this is a very long last in work. This is the change of the structure, the change of uh, processes, and change of people, which we need, for instance, in controlling bodies. You know that we are going along this way, and first resolutions have been adopted by the parliament, but some other decisions where we need decisions from the government and the parliament, a radical lessening of the number of controlling bodies, a radical lessening of the number of inspections and the ban on inspections until the end of the year. All this should be done together with the Parliament and also with the actions from the Cabinet of Ministers. And it is very important that the society is pressurizing in this direction. I uh, share this and uh, I try to convey it further. So if you allow me, I uh, run off to convey it further. Thank you very much.